Serena tried to stay as happy as possible, which she was always known for is like always smiling. She was the goofy one. She talks to everybody. She was very protective. Anything happened, she tried to play the big sister. My name is Rashawn Turner. My name is Patrice Reddick. And I'm the mother of Serena Turner. And my sister's name is Serena Turner. She had her ups and downs in life, but you know, that's just life with anybody. Serena always wanted to be the June Cleaver in life. She wanted to be that housewife with a lot of kids, and that was just her. That's what she wanted. 29-year-old Serena Turner was, by all accounts, full of potential. But all of that changed in December of 2020. That night, she had just walked out the door. She said she'll be back. She was headed to another county. And she ended up calling and said, oh, mom, you know, I'll just see you guys tomorrow. And because we were supposed to go to church that Sunday, but she never came home. He's driving westbound on Highway 18. He's just a little bit east of Jenks Creek. The detective ends up circling back around, pulls into that little dead end road, gets out to investigate, see why this car was there. He walks to the back uh, where he saw the car and finds Serena in the embankment. That's when Serena's mom gets the phone call that changed her life. It took me almost a year to stop playing it over and over in my head because it wouldn't go away. I got the phone call, I was actually at work, and when my mom called me, I didn't think it was real. I'm just like, I don't believe this until I see her body. You see a sibling one day, then the next they're gone. That was pretty hard. I just wonder who could bring themselves to do that to any human being. That's what bothers me the most. Why do you feel it's important to talk about it now? Well, now I feel like it's important because I need to speak for myself, let my own words be heard, let my face be seen. The King County Sheriff's Office is not calling this a cold case. They say it's war, but say they need the public to come forward with any information as to who may have killed Serena Turner. Everything in the dark always comes to the light, and I'm a firm believer of that. We'll never get Serena back, but, you know, everybody got to be held accountable for their actions. We want this to just come to an end. Let her get her peace. Let our family get the peace that we need. And to learn more about this case, to get updates on past stories, and subscribe to receive updates from the Unsolved team. Just text the word UNSOLVED to 206-448-4545.